Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a hot mess video and I apologize, but hopefully Jackson stays content watching TV um, and I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. I tried to do this when Justin was off of work for the holidays, but um, I just never got a chance. We were so busy. So today I want to talk to you guys about essential oils and plant therapy. So this video is not sponsored in any way. Plant therapy has like no idea I'm making it. It's just a company that I've been using and loving and I want to share with you guys. So a little history. I'm, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my essential oil usage past. I don't know. And then um, things I like about plant therapy. And um, then I'm going to show you guys my favorite oils for Jackson and me. Um, because that's a question I get asked a lot. I've shared a lot of plant therapy stuff on Instagram, like in my stories, and I've gotten like questions. I wanted to use them for a long time before I did the video. So here we are. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability with a toddler running around. Okay, so my essential oil past is I've been using oil since around 2007. Before they were kind of mainstream, I won't say trendy, but mainstream. Um, trendy sounds like insulting to say it that way, but before they were more mainstream. So I'm not really loyal to any one company. I've never really sold oils. Um, I always just kind of try different things. Um, that being said, I have bought and supported, my glasses are foggy, and supported um, people I know that sell from, oh, you'll, hear me, you'll hear me say MLM, and that means multi-level marketing. Um, companies like doTERRA and um, Young Living and it's not like a like a negative thing um, lots of stuff is multi-level marketing for instance I used to sell Avon Avon is technically multi-level marketing it's basically you're buying products from somebody that sells from a bigger company if that makes sense so Avon was the same way. I used to sell it a hundred million years ago and it's, it's the same kind of thing. So there was different like tiers of people like the lady above me and then, yeah. So you get the idea. You can look into multi-level marketing if you don't know what it means. Um, so anyways, I have bought from companies like that and I have people that I'm still like, you know, very happy with, you know, being friends with them. And then I have some people that, we're just people I supported. And the thing is, like, I might know, like, say, three people that sell doTERRA. And at different times, I'm going to buy from them. One person I might be more close to and buy a lot from them. And some people I might just be, like, trying to support here and there, buying oil here and there. Um, the same thing with the Young Living. I'm not loyal to one salesperson. I haven't been loyal to one company. I just want to put that out there so you guys know this is totally unbiased. I have disconnected myself from... One person, especially in particular, um, who like just went, I don't know, they were upset they weren't like getting money from me anymore. I don't know. She was just so mad that I switched companies. Um, she told me that I wasn't <laughs> educated enough to be telling my followers what's a good oil company, what's a good oil or, you know, whatever, which makes me laugh because the only educate education she has is like researching on the internet which any of us can do and going to seminars so that person I have completely like pfft. um it was from a multi-level marketing I won't say which one and then there's other people that were like totally fine with it they're like you know hey whatever you know you know it's best for your family and that's kind of the stance I am on it so um it's it's just it's it's whatever I'm just trying to explain to you guys I've tried different things and there's no bias here um, I've tried Eden's Garden, Rocky Mountain Oils. I've even bought like now for like cleaning products. It's just like so many different things I've tried. And I've been using them a really long time before as mainstream. Probably before the person that was like really a jerk to me. <laughs> like I'd only been using oils for like a year. So I don't know. Anyways, that's my experience. That's what I've used right now. I am switching completely over to plant therapy. I'm going to tell you guys why. Like I said... A lot of the oils out there are very nice oils. The oils people sell are very nice oils. They are expensive. And I wanted to find something that was less expensive 
because of some reactions I've had on a cleaning video, like a really old cleaning video where I was using, I think I was using doTERRA. And one, some people thought like the video was sponsored, which it wasn't. I had just bought those from someone I know. And then two, they said that they found those oils to be too expensive. When you're buying from a company like that, where they have people that make an income off what you're buying as well on top of the company, yeah, they're going to be more expensive, which is why I wanted to find a company that was a little cheaper so that I could share with you guys because oils have helped me a lot. So that company I found, which was recommended to me by two aromatherapists, certified aromatherapists, was plant therapy. And um, things I really like about them is their cost. Like obviously you're going to have some oils that are more expensive to make and more rare, and those are going to cost more. Not all oils should cost the same across the board. That would be like a red flag for me. Um, but they are more affordable because they don't have, you know, people that need to make commission off of it. Um, they do batch testing. They do like quality control. They're just, their quality is really, really good. Um, they also have incredible support. My favorite thing about them is their level of support. And it's the best support I've gotten out of any oil experience I've had. I'll just put that out there. Um, so their level of support's really awesome. And they have certified aromatherapists you can email at any time for free that will help you if you have any questions, if you have like what would help with this or, you know, they can suggest things to you and there's no pressure for buying, which is another thing I really appreciate. There's no like sales pressure or anything like that. Um, the difference in the quality of support you get to give you an example again I'm not gonna say what company because I'm not throwing shade at anyone or any company um, I'm happy that people can make a living and support their family um, and stand behind a company they really like but the level of support difference I'm talking about um, which because I do believe your education on oils is important which is why it was kind of funny to me that person said that um, because they'll say oils are really powerful, you're not educated enough to use them, but the same breath, like not have that education themselves, which anyways, so I got, um, my, my cousin has stage four colon cancer. A lot of you guys following me know that if you don't, you don't follow me now, you know, when she first got diagnosed, I didn't throw anything like holistically at her way because I know from experience with like any kind of illness or disease I have, it's always been people throwing suggestions and they have really good intentions. It's not anything negative. People have really good intentions, but it can get a little frustrating. So I never threw any oily stuff at her. When I had said, you know, pray for my cousin, blah, blah, blah. There's people I know that, you know, use oils with good intentions or like she needs to try this, try that, this, this, that. And I was like, okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. But I never threw that at her, especially because... I don't know what reaction she would have to any of this stuff because her body's going under so much stress and treatment and surgeries and stuff. So um, more recently, she had had a lot of problems with chemo rash. And so I had reached out because I'd been using plant therapy for a couple of months. I reached out to their one of their aromatherapists who is fantastic, who was able to tell me like about frankincense and cancer research on it and just a lot of information but here's the difference where I had already gotten like not necessarily nobody from the other companies had known that about frankincense and cancer not that that's like a negative thing but um here's the big difference they the in the same breath the aromatherapist told me if she's on chemo no oils because oils can actually affect the um Chemo in a negative way can decrease the, I guess, like how well it works. Um, and that's what's really important about oils and like support and having that support is there is oils like can affect your medication. It can affect your chemo. It can affect all kinds of things. But anything you put on your body or breathe in, there's chemicals like we clean with, the lotions we put on our body. All that stuff is absorbed by our body and our bloodstream. So that's like a big reason too, like when they say, okay, no oils while she's on chemo. And that's the kind of support I hadn't really gotten anywhere else. That somebody was able to say, yeah, this oil would be really good, but you shouldn't be using it for this. That's the kind of 
education they've received and the kind of support you get from plant therapy that I feel I have not gotten anywhere else and I really appreciate it. Um, so that's the reason I'm making this video about this company because that right there was enough for me to feel comfortable in sharing this with you guys. Um, so anyways, that's like my oil, my oil history and all that stuff. Like I said, a lot of oils are great. This started out as me trying to find something like in a good price range that was quality and wasn't like crap oils. And it turned into me finding like a favorite company. Um, not that I don't support my friends anymore. I just like it's more affordable. I really like the support and I really do like those other oils. They're great, but I'm going to go with what's more affordable um, as long as it's a good quality. So I am in the process of, because oils do kind of like expire, they start, I guess, like not being as potent. I'm not sure. They do kind of have like an expire kind of date um, or less potent. I'm not sure. They Some of them have a couple years and you can put them in the fridge to make them last longer. Um, but I've never done that. So I'm kind of like, I was in the process of getting, going through all my other oils from different companies because I've had those longer. So I have bought so many plant therapy oils and this isn't even all of them. I didn't drag them all downstairs. I'm gonna try to lift this up to show you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite ones. I do still have some oils from other companies that I, like I said, I'm in the process of using up, but I'm, <laughs> I'm in the process of also starting my plant therapy collection. Oh, that's not good. I found the eucalyptus I dropped. <laughs> okay, where was I? I was gonna talk to you guys about my favorite oils, um, the ones that we use the most, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Kid Safe line. Another thing I like about plant therapy is their Kid Safe line. Um, they've had it for a while. So Robert Thisserin, I hope I'm saying that right, is kind of like a world-renowned aromatherapist. He's very well respected. Um, he helped them create this Kid Safe line. So this means these oils are safe to diffuse, apply to skin. Um, most of their pre-diluted rollers are meant for two and up, but you can dilute enough for like a baby or a smaller child. Um, but they have dilution charts online. Um, there's a lot of information about how to make your own rollers. I, the oils I use a lot, for instance, Calm the Child and um, Nighty Night are my two most used oils. I went ahead and bought their rollers and then, and then I buy the, um, goodness gracious, where is the, here's Nighty Night. I don't know where my Calm the Child is. I buy like the bigger um, amount of them and I make my own to refill them. So if you're just starting out, if you're interested in rollers, I really suggest just going ahead. If you want to try on oil and see if you like it, whatever, I would suggest, Jackson, what are you doing? I would suggest buying their pre-diluted oils. It's a lot easier to start out. Um, and then you can make your own. Just a suggestion. So, hi. Nighty night. Eat some more drink. Huh? It's, it's a birthday cake. Birthday cake. What birthday cake? He didn't have birthday cake. It's, 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 it's too much. It's, it's too much. Too much what, honey? Did you poke your eye? What? I don't know. He's talking about cake. I don't know. <laughs> Calm the child is one of my favorites. Um. So. <sighs> When Jackson is having like really like bad mood swings or temper tantrums, which is completely normal for a toddler and a two-year-old, it really helps kind of calm him down. It also helps with anxiety. So he does not like being away from me or being with a stranger. Like he's never been to a school. Like he takes swim class without me now with his coach. He had had his coach, the same coach, since he was four months old. Known her every single week, seen her since he was four months old. And the minute he switched to the not, like the, just him in the coach class with me not being in the, like, pool area, being behind the glass, he freaked out. 
Like, so he doesn't handle, he has like anxiety, bad separation anxiety. And this really helped a lot with that, like just calming his anxieties and stuff. So I find for us, it's really good for moodiness, temper tantrums, anxiety calming. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen in my stories, if you've been with me for a while, I kind of show it also when he's just crazy, like crazy, crazy, all over the place, a hot mess crazy. Um, I did one day in my stories, like showing you guys how crazy he was, applying the calm the child, and then um, showing you guys kind of the results of how he calmed down. Um, and so then there is nighty night. Another thing I want to tell you guys, if you stick around till the end, I have a link to get you guys $10 off. It's not sponsored. Everyone gets the link if they have like a rewards account. Um, but stick around for information on that if you're interested. Um, Nighty Night is the sleep oil we use. This tends to help make them get drowsy for bedtime. So it's good to apply like 30 minutes before bedtime. Or you can diffuse it. You can diffuse the Calm the Child too. Or you can do an inhaler, which I'll show you guys an inhaler in a bit. Um, so uh, Calm the Child... And this is the 99. Um, so you can diffuse it. This is concentrated. This is basically diluted for skin or applying to the skin. I apply these oil to the back of Jackson's neck and to his chest because he doesn't touch them. He doesn't mess with them. Um, if you have a smaller baby, a lot of time you'll see people, different various oil companies talk about putting it on the bottom of their foot. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Just logically it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Your foot is the most like I don't know thickest part of your skin it's not very porous at all so if you want it to like your body to kind of absorb it aside from the aroma benefits of it I it doesn't make sense to me so if you have a small baby and you want to keep it out of their hands and stuff like that um and you've diluted it enough I would put it maybe on the tops of their foot behind their ears maybe if they don't grab their or or even their spine is really good but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to put it on the bottom of the foot. That just, just like my personal opinion. I know some other aromatherapists agree with me too. And then some say to do it. It's just personal preference. Logically, it doesn't make sense to me. Your foot skin is so thick. So there's that. Um, so Nighty Night helps them fall asleep. I'm going to be buying, I think it's Sweet Dreams soon. Um, and if you don't do good with lavender, they have another one that's like Sweet Slumber, I think. Slumber something. I think it's a Sweet Dreams helps them stay asleep. So that's another oil I'll be purchasing in my next order. Um, so, okay. Sniffle Stopper is another favorite of mine for Jackson and us as well. I use the Nighty Night for myself too, especially with, goodness, I'm sorry, this is focusing so much. Especially with my fibromyalgia, I have terrible insomnia and it really does help get me like kind of drowsy. Um, Sniffle, sniffle stopper is great if you're having like really bad allergies, sneezing a lot. You guys are not kidding. Like if something triggers my allergies, I can put this in the diffuser and it's in like, obviously when you take like an allergy pill, especially like a Zyrtec or something, it takes like an hour or two to kick in. So this is a really good, I mean, some people, um, I heard in our, in the Facebook group said that they don't even need allergy medicines anymore. Um, my allergies are really severe, so I still take my allergy medicine, but this is really great for when you're sick and stopped up. We used it for Jackson when he had croup. It worked so well. Um, and then whenever you have allergy problems, we, we diffuse this too. You, um, I haven't made a roller yet, but you can. Um, then another kid favorite of mine is Germ Destroyer. So I'm going to show you guys Immune Bloom at the same time. So Immune Bloom is really good when we're going to a situation where there's like as I call a lot of sicky bugs. That's what Jackson and I talk about germs. Um, so this is really good to help kind of like protect yourself and your immune system. We'll be using this at Disney on Jackson. And then for us, just cause I'm talking about immune stuff, where's my, um, I'll be using immune aid on us behind our ears on our chest for Jackson, the same thing, but he'll be using immune bloom. Um, <laughs> this oil they put out it, Halloween time. It's called zombie blood. That's why it's called zombie blood in case you're wondering. It's very citrusy. It also, oh God, it is also kids safe and has immune benefits. So the immune aid is not um, kids safe for their skin. I'm not sure about diffusing because sometimes it differs. Um, so, okay, now my phone battery is dying. I can't win. All right. So these are two options for kids for immune system. Um, immune balloon, 
there's immune balloon. There's so many people that have recommended it for Disney, like to kind of protect with all the germs there, that that's what I'm going to be taking. Here's the, the only downside to immune balloon is it's got dill in it. So it smells like a pickle, like legit, like a pickle. Um, I don't really care if Jackson smells like a pickle. The Disney princesses will just have to get over it when he hugs them. Um, <laughs> whatever. But if there's a situation we're going to where I care that he does, if he smells like a pickle, then zombie blood is a good go-to. So there's that. Um, then when you're already sick or been exposed to illness, germ destroyer is really going to make hand sanitizer, diffuse, um, put on them. When we've been sick or been exposed to illness, I diffuse this all over the house. Um, if Jackson's sick, I'll apply it to him if he doesn't have like a different oil on like for breathing or something like that or like chest congestion. Germ Destroy is really, really great. You can make great cleaning products with this as well. Um, better Than Kisses is good for like scrapes and bumps and bruises. Um, my favorite thing to use it on is bruises. Even for me, it really takes like the pain out of it fast and it also helps heal them really, really fast. Jackson and I both get bruised so easily. This stuff's been amazing. I don't know why this keeps defocusing. Okay, I'm trying to get through this fast because my battery is rapidly dying now all of a sudden. There must be like a ghost around. Um, all right, so um, um, they also have seasonal stuff. It's really I'm trying to find it. So they have the zombie blood. It's not. It doesn't really smell like Halloween. I don't know what Halloween would smell like, but these are very... Um, these have their own benefits um, for different uses. For instance, the Christmas tree one, your house will smell like an amazing Christmas tree, but it's also good for respiratory issues. Um, and then for the fall, the pumpkin pie and the harvest moon um, have been really great. These two are kids safe. Pumpkin pie is not, I believe, because I think there's clove in it or something. I don't know. So I have a bunch of different various, various oils. I love them all. I'm just trying to like pop over my favorite ones. I think I went through all the kids safe ones. Okay, for my pain, so I'm going through mine now. For pain, this rapid relief, I like mixing it with um, lotion or, uh, you know, something like making like a, kind of like a balm or whatever with the healing balm, um, which the healing balm is really great. The thing I was talking about for my, co my cousin that they, is what they suggested for my cousin with cancer for her chemo rash. There's no oils in it, so it wouldn't affect her chemo but it would help with her skin and it's helped with mine so much. I ordered it for myself too. And my face finally stopped peeling with all my hormone issues. Everybody swears by it. I've used it as diaper rash cream on Jackson. Clears it up so fast. It's like a miracle worker. I don't know. So you can put it in that. But anyways, this rapid relief is kind of like a pain reliever for sore muscles and aches and stuff like that. It works really well. I use it a lot for like aches and stuff that aren't joint related does that make sense it, it does too it helps with that stuff but especially like I don't know like my back hurts in one spot or stuff like that it's just rapid relief is really amazing I do I dilute it into lotions and stuff like that all these dilution charts and aromatherapists can tell you about or you can like look up on their website um or whatever okay so if you have panic issues like I do like anxiety panic attack anything like that the, this one is kid safe. It's called self-esteem. This one is not. It's called worry-free. Now, I was told by a plant ther therapy aromatherapist that you can diffuse this brief, like for a brief period of time, and there's nothing that like diffusing will like bother your child. Um, so you can diffuse this around him, but you, you don't want to put any, this on them. Um, but this is for me. This combo makes what's called liquid Xanax. And anybody that uses plant therapy, actually one of my followers told me on Instagram, I think she follows me on here too, about the liquid Xanax recipe and how amazing it is. And it really, really is. So you can diffuse it, which helps with your anxiety and calming down. You can make a roller, which I have that as well. If you're going to a situation where you feel like you're going to be constantly anxious, it's really good for that. Like putting out my chest and behind my ears. Those are kind of like my go-to places for anything that I especially want to smell. Um, but my favorite thing is this is called an inhaler. So you can buy these plastic things, they're refillable. Um, there's a wick inside here, you put the drops in. And to make this blend, you take the two blends and you put equal, keeps defocusing, you put equal parts. And then you just smell like that whenever you're like 
like, <laughs> I love the smell of this, but it also really calms me down. So if you have like panic attacks, you really want something like an inhaler that's just like, you know, going to calm you down a lot faster. That's been great for my anxiety and my panic attacks. I've been, ever since Jackson's been born, I've been having really bad panic attacks and that helps so much. Okay. I think we're getting the home stretch. Another favorite product and something I'll be ordering this DigiZen I've been using a lot. So my new heart medicine makes me really, really nauseous. And this helps so much. I rub it on my stomach. Um, you rub it in circles on your stomach. And then also you can just smell it if you're super nauseous. Um, peppermint helps. I got pepper and stuff in it. It's not kid safe. They have a kid safe tummy one. And I'm ordering that before Disney too. Um, that's another thing on my list. And then... All right, so I kind of went over my favorites. There's a ton of oils here, but those are my favorites. Um, my two favorite fall, my favorite fall one is the Harvest Moon. If they have that out again next year, you guys have to get it. It smells amazing. And Christmas Tree is my favorite holiday one. It literally, everyone was like, when we had workers here and like stuff going on in the house, they kept talking about how good the house smelled. So um, they have a perks program. A lot of people ask me, I think because they get so nervous, like they hear oils and nowadays people want to associate it with like the multi-level marketing or they think you're not that multi-level marketing is trying to scam. They think it's like a scam or something weird's going on. Plant Therapy is just a regular company. Like anything else, you can go buy their oils online. I suggest buying it from their website. They do have an Amazon and you all, if you're buying oils, Plant Therapy at least. Because I don't think anybody from doTERRA sells stuff on Amazon. There's no like official doTERRA, official Young Living or anything like that. If you're buying from a company that sells oils, make sure the Amazon is their actual one. Not like a third party seller because it could be diluted. You could be getting something else. You just don't know what you're getting. They do have an Amazon, but I really suggest going through their website. One, the shipping's free. Like, and it's fast. Like mine's always here in two days. Um, so their shipping's already free. It's fast. And they also have a rewards kind of program. It's everyone's like, is that like the wholesale thing with these other oil sites? It's not. It's just, it's just a, it's just a website. It's not like there's nothing to it. There's no like scheme. There's no catch. It's just a website. And so it's kind of like when you go to Walgreens and they're like, Can I have your phone number? Because they collect like points and they give you a coupon. It's the same thing. You just sign up for their rewards thing. I think it's called perks. And it just kind of tracks what you've spent. You hit a certain amount of points or that you've spent, then they offer you, hey, here's a $5 coupon. Here's a $10 coupon. It's That's literally all there is to it. Another thing they have with their perks is refer a friend. Like with my sister started using this and like another one of my friends started using that. I was like, hey, here's a link. It knocks $10 off your order. There's no catch. It's I think it's like a $20, $25 minimum. So basically it'll knock your order from that down to 15. So you can buy basically a free oil is the way I look at it. Um, but there's like no catch, it's just that. Like you shop from that link, click the link, and it records, okay, this person referred you. I don't get any money or anything from it. Everybody qualifies for it. Everyone has it that has a perk account. You refer a friend. If you, if you do a perk account because you start using the oils, you get a link too. And it just knocks $10 off your friend's order and it gives you a free $10 with your next order. So it's just like a rewards program like Walgreens or whatever. And I think that's the most like skeptical thing people get when it comes to this. Like when they're asking me about it, I'm like, yeah, if you want free $10, like is it sponsored? Is it this or that? It's not at all. It's just like a reward program. Um, so also another part of that is on your birthday, they send you your birthday month. They send you a code for a free birthday oil. Um, and it's lemon cupcake. It smells so good. And it is basically a free oil. Um, I think you just have to, at some point that month, if you're using the code, like when you shop, you have to buy something like $5. But I can easily find something for $5 on their site or buy an oil for 10 like the more, like, the, I don't want to say the cheaper, but like, you know, like there's some oils that are like $9, $10 there. And I'll usually just like, like for this, I needed a certain oil and it was $10. So I was like, okay, cool. Here's my free oil. So there is like, it's not just like they send you a free oil, free oil on your birthday. You have to use the code they send and like there's a $5 purchase if you're buying that month. Um, 
But that's it, you guys. That's my plant therapy video. I love this company. I'm probably going to exclusively be buying from them because the plain and honest truth is it's more affordable, it's great quality, and I like their oils. So um, that's my experience. If you're interested in trying some of their oils, I will leave the link below for my refer a friend. Like I said, not sponsored, no catch. You just order. It's just a website. I can't stress that enough. I, I get like people's skepticism. They're always like paranoid because there's like somebody in my neighborhood I literally hide from if I see them in the store because she's always trying to sell me like beach body stuff which is like great. I'm glad she does that, but I've told her a million times I'm not interested. <laughs> so like I get that people are always like worried somebody's trying to like get them into something. But when there is a Facebook group too, um, that's really helpful. But like when you use plant therapy, there's no sales pressure. It's just a company like any other company you buy from. If you're in Canada, I believe I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do ship to Canada and other places, I believe, but I think there you do have to pay shipping. And I feel like though, if you spend like $50 or something, the shipping's free too. I'm not sure, 100%, but you guys can ask them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed it and you enjoyed like me talking about the oils and stuff and you want me to do any kind of oil hauls in the future, let me know. I will see you guys in my next video. Also, I every time I get a new oil, I put it in my Instagram story. So follow me on Instagram if you're interested in that too. It's probably more likely because I'm constantly buying a couple oils at a time. Hi, that's probably more likely where you will find. I'm constantly sharing. Yeah, I'm constantly sharing. Yeah, I'm constantly sharing the oils I buy on Instagram. Okay, I am really good in this video. Can you say bye, guys? Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye! Bye!